Good morning. I'd like to welcome everybody here today. I know everybody has a busy day, so we're going to keep this short, hopefully. But we uh, gathered here today. We would like to present a piece of history that we found, and I would like to thank Mary Ellen Hassman Brannigan, who is our historian who found this beautiful document that we want to share with our United States Postal Service at this location, and we want to put it on display for years to come, a bit of history of Shazy. So uh, I would like to have uh, Mary Ellen come up and tell her how she discovered this document and what it represents for the town of Shazy. Turn it over to Mary Ellen. Thank you, Stel. Um, <clears throat> I have been doing some research with um, Penny Clute. Um, who is the city court judge, and we've been going through the Hubble papers. And in the Hubble papers, we found this document, which is a um, legal appointment of John Wolcott Hubble um, as the 16th postmaster in Shazy in 1886. The document was in beautiful condition. So I talked to Stop about getting it and donating it to um, the post office. So we took it and had it framed. And um, I would like to present it to um, Sue. And Sue Haskins, who's the postmistress here. Postmaster. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so very gently we'll take this off. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. This was a picture of John Wolcott Hubble um, in his earlier years. Um, he was in the military in Plattsburgh and uh, at one time was colonel. And his direct descendant um, is here, um, Pete Hubble. And this is Pete's grandfather. Great grandfather. Great grandfather. Yeah. And, um, I think Pete might like to say a few words about his family. Um, Pete also had, I believe it was the third um, postmaster here. Oh, tell, that was his great great yeah. grandfather. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Julius Caesar Hubble, whose well, legal papers were going on, on, on John Wilkins. Why don't you come up here and. Okay. Yeah, um, I was looking at something over there. Um, John Wilkins was a. Uh, Born in uh, 1830, uh, here in Shazy, uh, in his grand his father's house, which is still standing. That was Julius Caesar Hubble, and his mother was uh, uh, Anne Moore, daughter of Pliny Moore of, uh, of uh, uh, Champlain. And uh, um, in his early years, he was educated in, here in the North Country, and in Massachusetts, and finally in Vermont. And then he went up, spent a couple of years up in, in Canada learning the uh, French language, learning how to read and write. And he came back here, and at, uh, at the age 20, he was a uh, uh, commissioned uh, major in the militia and uh, uh, was promoted to lieutenant colonel and finally to colonel. And as colonel, he was the, uh, at one time, was head of the barracks in Plattsburgh. And uh, after he retired from the military, he came back here and he, he uh, became a farmer on the uh, old Hubble farm in south of Shazy. And uh, prior to that, he had married a Margaret Louise Beckwith, who was a direct descendant of the Platts that, uh, that came up and started Plattsburgh. Um, and they had 11 children. And uh, my Grandfather was, uh, of course, one of those, and from those eleven, the, uh, their descendants is uncountable. But uh, uh, I do want to say that uh, he was well known in the, in the village, and in 1886 he was appointed the 16th postmaster. But uh, you just wonder why all this hoopla about the 16th postmaster only serving three years, when his father had been appointed the third third postmaster served 15 years, and Jerry Sweet served 31 years. So he at the, uh, the 16th, only three years, why all of this? Because of this, uh, uh, this uh, um, uh, document that was found by the, 
by Mary Ellen and, and Penny Clute when they were doing their investigating. Penny was going through the Hubble papers trying to see what part Julius Caesar had uh, played in various courts in, uh, in uh, the uh, North Country. So, with that, uh, here's the plaque, and uh, I thank you all for being here and listening to me. Thank you very much, Pete. There's another descendant here. Yeah, we have another descendant, direct descendant, right there. I just want to mention, Hubble. just want to mention yesterday, Jim came in and he says, you know what, I'm going to make chocolate chip cookies for tomorrow. He says, I think I'm going to have enough for everybody. I said, well, Jim, there's supposed to be four or five hundred people here. He said, that's going to be home to get cookies. <laughs> We also have the county historian here, Addie Shields. Addie, did you want to say? Yes, I would like to. I think it's so wonderful that uh, Penny Clute was interested in these. Of course, Penny is interested in anything that's legal and so forth. And uh, I wanted to bring out the fact that that at one time I worked with Edith Moss, and I came to see Edith. And here on her Davenport were all of those papers. And she probably placed them chronologically, and I'm not sure whether she was checking as to what was inside, but it took Penny Clute and this lady to, to see what, and the guidance would be from Penny as to what were civil and what were criminal cases, and eventually, you see, the story isn't told because eventually this girl will, there will be all of these leads in the history of the area. I'd like to mention, too, about Nell Sullivan, because she is a wonderful gal who drew so much of her materials together and worked with the Hubbles, and they trusted her that these Hubble papers came to her. And when I was probably, well, seven, eight, nine, ten years old, our neighbor, who was the Scribners up on Route 22, Grandma Scribner had the shingles. And Nell Barnett came and took care of her. And I've thought of that so many times because what do you do with a woman who has the shingles? You know, you sit and you talk to them. And Nell Barnett, probably as she went around amongst the people, being a nurse, going to all the farms, gathered a great deal of material. And probably, this is, she bent the twig with her daughter Nell, who married the town clerk and who gathered all of these materials. And you do realize, Shazy is such a wonderful town anyhow, but you've got. For the town historian, you have the best town historian's office in Clinton County. You have the greatest collection. And of course it was Nell's collection. But she worked, every, everyone worked with her and she trusted the Hubbles. And you know too, I've just been talking with this young man here. Because last year, the Mar or a year ago, the Maritime Commission met down there in that wonderful location. This is wrong because I'm putting somebody on the spot here, but I had spoken to our historian and said, you know, sometime in the summer, wouldn't it be wonderful if all of the town and village historians could come and have an all-day meeting down with the Hubbles in their wonderful location. Wouldn't you love to have us? Yeah, we could. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> they're all historians. They're all we always historians. love, we love people. This is very, very true. I know, and I realized when we were there before, so please. But how fortunate you all are, and how fortunate to find this, and how fortunate that people are working in this line, always following leads, and to have Suzanne Moore here, who is she has a historic mind, and this is Calvin, who we're indebted to so many people in this office, and so forth. You're very fortunate to have this. Wonderful. And you're, great, you're a great group, too. Everyone here is historically minded. The, big has, the twig has been bent so that everyone is alert to, to and you know, to history. And, and history is open-ended. You're making history every day. This is history today, too. Thank you, Larry. Is there anything you'd like to say so? Well, on behalf of the Postal Service and my manager, Dan Coleman. Dan, would you like to come up and join us? Sure. Um, we would like to thank you very much for presenting this to us. I, it seems like I came into Shea Z at the right time. There's so much history going on. Last year, we um, celebrated Shea Z Post Office 200th anniversary and we had a big picnic out on the front lawn. Now we have this, it just seems like we're steeped in history and it like came at the right time and it's very exciting. And I want to thank you for including us in this and we'll treasure it and guard it carefully. You're welcome.
Dan, did you have anything to say? Just briefly, I just want to say you know, how pleased and honored I am uh, to have been invited and how grateful we are to the town historian and the, and the whole Hubble family for uh, allowing us to display this, this beautiful document in the Shazy Post Office. It's, it's really a, quite an addition to the office. So thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Well, if <coughs> no one else has anything to say, I guess we have some refreshments. So, yes, yeah. everyone please stay and enjoy the refreshments and visit and get caught up. Okay. Thank you. And Pete, Thank you, you can keep the chair. <laughs> <laughs>